welcome to my channel where we often explore this virtual world while talking about real life topics. I'm Shy, and sometimes you will see me and sometimes you will see she. She isn't me, the person behind Shy, Candace. Hey to my returning supporters and welcome if you're new. So on today's agenda, we'll be doing some shopping and talking about ego and relationships. First things first, let's do a quick little fit check. Okay, y'all ready? Yep, I already knew y'all were. Come on, let's get out of here. Throughout my dating life, I have been the perpetrator as well as the victim of having an ego in relationships. Now, as we all know, all relationships are not created equal. So, if you are listening to this and you're in a situationship, your bed buddies, friends with flavor, or the we don't like labels, you can still take some pearls from this. Now, when I say ego in relationships, I'm not talking about a little ego. I'm talking about don't want to show emotions first. Nah, they don't run me. I run them knowing damn well as soon as a call comes in, no one else exists. If you don't call me, I won't call you. Saying you don't require a lot of attention, but really wanting all the attention. Nah, you say I love you first. Ego tripping in relationships. In my opinion, the ego always starts out the same. One person simply wanting to assert dominance over the other to establish the hierarchy in said relationship. It's even more difficult to check your ego when you're coming from a place of being friends with benefits and they only get to see the harder side of you. Now, I don't know about y'all, but friends with benefits me and relationship me are two totally different people. It's difficult for many to cross over to the relationship side simply because it can be scary for some to realize that someone so caring also resides in someone who could be so cold. You get to pick and choose how others view you. And I know being vulnerable is not the easiest, but once you cross over into the relationship realm, you have to let your guards down and be aware that you're not in survival mode right now. I have struggled with this concept for so long, but trust, when the right person comes into your life, it will become second nature to you. Don't get me wrong, a little ego ain't never hurt nobody, but you can't let your ego make you and definitely don't let it break you or your relationship. Feelings even sounds like a vulnerable word, but that's because it is. It's okay to show that you care, it's okay to be affectionate and kind, and it's okay to admit that you're not okay with any of those things at first. It's sometimes difficult to show that you care when you feel like no one has ever showed you or to be affectionate when no one has ever been affectionate towards you, or even to be kind when you feel that no one has been kind to you in relationships. I know that many deal with loads of trash before they meet their treasure, and like many, I too have had my share. However, you should be willing to try again with someone who you deem is worthy of your true emotions. You can lose out on someone great because you let your ego rule you instead of being genuine and speaking up about what you really want in and out of the relationship. I have had enough practice being the hard one in relationships and being the reason they fail to know that the only effective outcome that having an ego in relationships will give you is an ending. <laughs> 